Hi people, me again obviously, Morina Ravenberg. Yeah, in this video I'm gonna be discussing uh, how the occult can benefit athletes because this is something that I haven't covered yet, uh, at least not in extravagant detail, even if I say so myself the way I'm about to do just now. So yeah, let's get started. If you're like an athlete or a would-be athlete or a wannabe athlete, you're someone that has sportsman or sportswoman-like aspirations, um, you name it, you're a basketball player, football player, or soccer player, whatever, whatever. You're, a, you're a marathon runner, you name it. Yeah, the occult can benefit you, needless to say. And there are several ways to go about it. Before I continue, you, there is an article that this uh, video corresponds to, as is usually the case for my content. Uh, you can find that linked in the description. Uh, now, there are several things you can do, other than what I mentioned in the article. There are several ways to go about it, and the benefit is that you don't even have to be, um, you don't have to be a, an occultist. There are several things you can do, but you would need like good quality factual information or uh, recommendations or advice on how to do so. And in certain situations, obviously, it can take a while because Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, for example, for people that engage in running or any kind of sports, sport sporting related activity or sports related activity where you where you need to be fast for example etc you need to be agile you need to be flexible you name it you need to be everything that constitutes the aforementioned then yeah you're essentially from an energetic perspective your go-to source is the planet mercury specifically the zodiac sign gemini okay Working with that energy, and there are more than a few manners that in which you can do so. I can, for example, give several hints or tips on how to do so. If someone were to ask me, obviously not for free, uh, but if someone were to seriously ask me and say, hey, I, for example, I'm a marathon runner, but I keep ending in like uh, third place or fourth place, I would like to become first. And I'm willing to invest us a good amount of uh, resources in terms of accomplishing this. Can you help me? Then yeah, several things I can recommend to a person like an egregore, a thought form. It all depends on, I'll be asking the person detailed questions as in, okay, listen, how fast do you want the results? And what do you want to lay emphasis on? Do you want to lay emphasis on stamina or do you want to lay emphasis on speed? and flexibility and agility which ones is it which one do you favor because generally speaking you can't have it both ways not without it taking a while now you can become faster and more flexi flexible and more agile but that will come up to a certain degree at the cost of uh, a certain level of stamina so you need to see to it that you win your marathon as quickly as possible whereas if it's all about uh, being in it for the long term and you want to outpace everyone else then you need to focus on on stamina essentially and uh, a bunch of other miscellaneous uh, a bunch of other miscellaneous and or so to speak erroneous um, thingy conditions and or circumstances um, <coughs> and yeah that's an, another example uh, again I've done astrological charts in the past and I know that people in general don't really have an interest in astrology because they are like it's hard for them to follow, they don't have the intellectual capacity, no offense meant to anyone, and it just goes on, and so on and so forth. People are more interested in the occult-based stuff, like working with spirits and whatnot. And be that as it may, for example, I've covered one or two athletes uh, where you can see why they're so talented. For example, the world-famous football or soccer player. I hate that word soccer, metaphorically speaking, but yeah, whatever. Um, the football and the soccer player Lionel Messi, with him, the reason for his success is because he has a strong Gemini influence, he has a strong Mercurial influence. More than a couple of planets uh, were in the zodiac sign Gemini when he was born, and all of that leads to a devastating level of natural agility and flexibility. Anyone that knows what I'm talking about because they watch football and or soccer, and they've seen him play, they've seen how hard it is to take the ball off of him and that in his prime, once he had the ball at his foot, it was like it was glued to his foot. So many defenders try removing the ball from him, but they fail and he just keeps running, 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 yeah. That's because what I explained earlier, okay, what it simply means in layman's terms is that he has a natural devastating level 
of agility about him in reference to what I said about astrology earlier. It simply means at a layman's, at, in layman's terms, simplistically put is that he's naturally flexible, he's naturally agile, essentially. You try to grab someone like that, they'll be able to literally like dodge left and right, etc. And you'll, it's like you're trying to wrestle someone that is covered or drenched in oil. Your hands keep slipping, you can't get a hold of the person, it just goes on. Okay, all of us more or less are born with um, or have natural abilities, uh, have natural strengths. It's a reference to the saying we all have our strengths because we all literally do more or less. All of us have things that we're naturally good at. It just comes to us because of the aforementioned, like I explained. But yeah, anyways, so if you're an existing athlete, you want to increase your performance. There are several ways. A thought form, look, so a customized spirit that will uh, be specially tailored to your needs, um, utilizing um, corresponding energy, uh, corresponding specifically to uh, what you're trying to accomplish, um, working with an existing spirit that will provide you with the faculties needed uh, to do so, it just goes on, honestly. Uh, no need to go into like utmost detail, like for example, what's the difference between a customized spirit and a so a, an egregore or a thought form and an existing spirit, etc. The details are, um, are within this context, minor, relatively speaking. But bottom line is that, of course, just like most people, is that you accomplish your, you reach your end goal, that you accomplish your goal, okay, and that you get there, to put it that way. And yeah, these are all things that can be done, okay. You'll be, there are several things that you can do, but... Um, all of these will uh, lead you to where you want to go and they will make the necessary changes to yourself. For example, you might notice like side effects that are either neutral, beneficial or negative to you, but side effects that will be there either way uh, and that you will be generally speaking notified of in advance that, hey, you know, yeah, I'm going to, I noticed that I started losing weight, I started doing this, I started doing that. For example, the person in the aforementioned example, Okay, or for instance, the person mentioned in the aforementioned example told, uh, told me, hey, we've been doing this for a month and I've noticed, yeah, I have gotten faster, but I've also got, I think I've lost like 10 pounds of uh, weight. I lost 10 pounds. I've noticed that I've been drinking more water lately and I didn't want, I, I haven't wanted to, my appetite went down. I don't want to eat as much as I usually do. What would I tell the person? Yes, that's what the energy does. The energy will literally will literally prompt you to undertake or just plain take action or actions that will lead to you accomplishing your goal. The energy is literally shaping you, okay, into, um, into the so-called perfect athlete. And yeah, you would have like a natural advantage, the spirit, all of that spiritual energy manifesting physically would give you a natural edge and or advantage over, over your competition. Okay, of course, you're not the only one that, has th that is thinking of this idea or that has thought of this, but from a neutral perspective, you would have an advantage. For example, I'm on equal footing with someone in terms of physical build and stature and whatnot, statistically, blah, 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 etc., etc. And uh, we both have like little to no experience in running. If I were to absorb mercurial energy, I would be considerably faster than the person. And we're talking about by default, let's just say with my level of proficiency uh, for 15 minutes, if I inhale mercurial energy, I would be at least 25%, 25 to 35%, even at max, like by my rough estimate, uh, minimum 25, maximum 40% faster than the person. We're literally on equal footing. We both weigh as much. We both have zero, little to no experience in professional running, nothing. We both have, we both agree to, hey, we're going to race, you know, we're going to run 100 meters. First one to get their wins. And I'm thinking to myself, hey, 100 meters, you know, it's not about stamina so much. I just need to be, I just need to be devastatingly fast in a short amount of time. 100 meters will take how long? Like a minute, 60 seconds or two minutes. It's not about longevity. I simply need to see to it that I, or durability. I simply need to see to it. Um, that I get there and I get there as quickly as possible like that I um, I would opt for Gemini energy specifically like it hey, Gemini give me that Gemini energy boop 
I'm good to go right before the uh, so-called match and I'm going to be a lot faster than my uh, opponent than my competition all because of that without that energy I would be it would be like almost like a draw if we're literally dead even in every aspect that is needed to 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 reach the finish line then it's more it's generally speaking going to be a draw because we're both as strong we're both equally strong so there's nothing we're both equally um, statistically uh, competent in terms of in terms of finishing this race or both start in terms of just taking part in this race and yeah that's pretty much it so that's an example so imagine if you're a professional athlete how much it can benefit you of course like i said you don't need to specifically have an in a, a proficiency in the occult or anything like that you can come to me and i can definitely help you out as long as you can afford me as is always the case then it's not going to be a problem i can easily boost you like there's no tomorrow and permanently but the benefit is the i mean the drawback generally speaking is just like rome wasn't built in a day in that same manner if i think if you want like truly great results then it might take a while it might take like a couple of months before you see any serious before you start making any serious headway um of course there is some kind of workaround that i can potentially come up with to counteract that but like i said those are just those are in-depth details that i'm not going to get into so it's impractical and unnecessary or optionally if you're saying hey i want results as quickly as possible as in hey i have a race tomorrow i need it now 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 then that can also be arranged or taken care of um, but but don't expect um, like heavy-handed results like the aforementioned now nah. you're going to be faster and quicker and whatnot the results can be accomplished but they're not going to be heavy-handed so you need to know exactly what you want and you need to know what you're getting yourself into if someone comes to me they have like a marathon or a race tomorrow and they want to do everything in their power to see to it that they win that race yeah i can help them out i mean it depends on what but my my point is i can help them out and uh, i can help them out and and they're going to win that race but emphasis will be laid on speed and not durability they might for example after the race when the energy fades just like adrenaline when the energy fades and it will fade pretty quick i know from first-hand experience dealing with mercurial energy after having absorbed it it fades a lot quicker than thingy energy than regular spiritual energy than any other energy you can think of more or less um, you, you might experience like a crash similar to adrenaline because you literally put your body through spiritual means you put your body physically into overdrive it's like overclocking your body people that have an interest in technology know what overclocking means and that when, she, when you're finally done and you go back to normal you'll immediately go like oh you'll immediately just you'll feel you'll experience a slight crash you'll feel extra fatigue like oh boy i feel so tired oh, oh yeah but of course it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things bottom line is you wanted to win and you won okay you have a natural edge over the competition um so yeah that's it let me know if you have any other questions as always and uh, goodbye for now